In Power Query, we have a very simple table containing three columns, product, inventory, and shipment. I want to add a new column containing the ending balance for the inventory. However, I have an issue that some rows here, including nulls or text. When I add the new column, it results in error. Let's see how we can handle this. Hello and welcome to a new video from Advanced Power Query series, video APQ07. In this video, we are going to see how we can handle errors in Power Query. Actually, there is no if error inside Power Query. However, we have some other method that can help us to deal with errors. In this video, we are going to see try and otherwise, and also the normal if statement, if then else, can also help us to deal with errors. I have my data inside a table, first column for the name of the product, a column for the inventory at the beginning of the period, and here you can notice that I have a blank and some text. The third column for the shipments came in during the period. I need to add a new column to calculate the ending balance, which is basically the submission of the first and the second column together. I already extracted the table into Power Query. I give an info the query ending balance. It has only two steps, source and change type. You can notice that the change type picked the correct data type for product and shipment, but not the case for inventory because it has mix of data types. It has numbers and also some text. Also, we can notice that the blank cell that we had in our query in Excel converted into null inside Power Query. The only action that I want to do is just to add these two columns. I will go to Add Column Ribbon and then Custom Column. Let me give this a name, let's say Balance. And I'm going to select the first column, Inventory, the plus sign, and then Shipment, and click on OK. And you can notice the errors that we have in the final three rows. The best way to handle this is to use Try and Otherwise. Double click to edit the step and let's think about try and otherwise and please think about it exactly like if error. If error in Excel, it's just doing a trial of an expression like the one that we have here, inventory plus shipment. If the result of this exercise is an error, it will go with an alternative value. Try and otherwise exactly the same. It will try this expression. If it comes with an error, I should provide an alternative value. Let's try together. I'm going to add a new line just before the expression and I'm going to type try, T-R-Y. It's written in blue, meaning that it's a known keyword by Power Query. And just after the expression, I'm going to take a new line and type otherwise. Again, written in blue, it's a known keyword by Power Query. And let's think about the alternate action or the alternate value. The alternate value should be the shipment only. And that's why because all the errors in the inventory column, all the text values inside the inventory column, I have no text value inside the shipment column. So if you find an error, meaning that you need to exclude the inventory from your expression. So I'm going just after the otherwise, and I'm going to add the shipment column. The translation of this, please try inventory plus shipment. If you find an error, please go with the shipment only. Let me hit OK, and here you go. You have all the errors gone, as you can notice here. To be honest, there is another error that we need to handle here. If you check row number six, you will find that we have null value in the inventory column and 77 in the shipment column. If you add both together, you will find the end result is null, and this is not exactly what we want. And the result of null usually happen when you try to do any calculation, including a null value. And actually, it is not an error. If you check the entire column, there is no errors in this column. However, we have a wrong answer or a wrong result that we need to correct. In order to correct this one, I'm going to use the if statement or if then else. Let me double click again on the same step in order to edit. And before the try, I'm going to take another line and type if, and I'm going to use the if in order to check the value. 
inside the inventory column and I'm going to ask are you equal to null and I'm going to type then and I'm going to provide the value if the condition is true if inventory equals null if this is true please take only the shipment and then I'm going to type else if the condition is false or the result of this check is false please go with try and otherwise and do the submission and if it comes with error please give also the shipment only let me hit ok and here you go the result now is 77 and I think this is exactly what we want close and load close and load 2 table existing worksheet let me put it in column H and click on ok and here you go you have your end result free of errors and also you corrected the error coming from adding null to the 77 in row number 6 and we had the opportunity to discuss two ways of handling error try and otherwise as well as if then else that was all for today if you like this video please like it leave me a comment and subscribe and wait for my next video next week we are going to share a new challenge and i think you need to use try and otherwise so please stay tuned and you'll find some links here please check them out see you and bye